Welcome everyone to the 2018 Keeper of the Chains tournament sponsored by Innova Champion Discs. We are in Wichita, Kansas, and we are playing Cessna Park, front nine. This awesome car, we got Crispin Carrasco, Ron Converse, Kevin Arndt, Casey Flutie, and Christopher Hall. And this is really a beautiful park. There's some open shots, uh, like half it's pretty wooded, a lot of OBs, so let's see how they attack it. First up, we got Kevin. And that road is OB, you gotta go over the road. There's like a little landing area by that tree up top. See, that's a little bit short. Uh, and then you gotta take a right turn, and the basket's kind of near some danger. Here's Crispin. Looks like he's going with a big Annie shot. And that'll do just fine. Here we got the legendary Ron Converse from Blackwell, Oklahoma. He's got some championships. And he absolutely crushes this. This is way farther than it needs to be, but that's a great shot. Here we got Casey. He's a local from Wichita. And he puts it right, right in the middle. He'll have to avoid those trees in front of him, but I think he can throw a four Anheuser over on top of him. Here we got Christopher. Yeah, and he's in that same landing area. And here's Kevin's upshot. He's pretty far back. It's going to be a tough shot. Yeah, and he left that quite a bit short. It's going to be a, a tester putt with that downhill slope. Here we got Casey throwing the forehand. That's my preferred play on this on the shot. And yeah, that'll work. About a 25-footer. And Christopher with an awful lie. But he manages to get it down there, and that'll, that'll be a look for his three. Ron Khan. You won't see many forehands from him. That was a great shot. Here's Crispin's second. And that grass is really grabby right there, but if you hit that down slope, you can get a bad roll. And there is OB down by the tall grass. Here's Kevin's third. He gets that pretty close. Casey just barely missing on his uh, on his birdie putt. And here's Christopher for birdie. This is a par four. Oh, and he hits the ring inside the chains and spits right out. That's not how you want to start your round. Crispin just coming up a tad short. Let's see if Ron can get this birdie. And today was extremely windy. Probably a consistent 20 mile per hour wind. Which is pretty normal for these guys since they're in Oklahoma and Kansas. And he can't seem to find the chains on that one. Here's Kevin for a par. Yeah, he knocks that right in. Chris been tapping in for his par. And Crispin's actually the founder of Hand Eye, which is pretty awesome. And there's Casey tapping in for his par. Ron Con tapping in. Everyone's tapping in. All right, on to the next. All right, hole two, par three, 344 feet. And you gotta make this small tunnel right here and then the hole is down to the right. A lot of trees in the way. Uh, flick is probably the preferred route, but some of these guys prefer the backhand. And that's, that's a little low. It's gonna be a tough par save. 
And Ron's actually pulling out the forehand. I think he's developed a forehand over the past couple months. Maybe longer. And he saws that off a little bit. Comes up a little short, but he'll have a, a very hard look for two. And it does drop off about 10 feet behind the basket, like right behind the basket. So you got to be very careful on your runs. And that one just hits a tree. No one's really getting all the way down there. It's one of the easier holes out here, I think. Here's Christopher going with the backhand turnover. That looked pretty good. Not going to be easy too, but he'll have a chance at it. Crispin going with the forehand. He ends up a little bit left. That's going to be a tough putt. And you'll see Kevin throwing that black. I think It might be a harp. I don't know what it is, but he throws it constantly. Oh my god, that was an awful kick. That's going to make his par putt just that much harder. And Ron can't seem to get away from the trees. He hits that one right in front of him. We're going to have some scary putts. And Chris hits a tree. Everyone's hitting trees. Kevin just goes right off the band. I can't tell if that went all the way down that backside or not. Oh, Crispin with a laser putt. And that was a par save. Nice. And Christopher making putts as well. And once you get that first long putt in, at the beginning of a round, it just makes the rest of your putts so much easier. You have that confidence. And he just gets that nose up and it just kind of sails on him. And Kevin with a great looking bogey putt. Nice comebacker there. And he didn't go too... Oh no, hit the tree. He didn't go all the way down, I don't think, but still a tricky putt. Ron with a solid par. Casey with a double. Alright, hole three. 270 foot par three. And you gotta make this tunnel. And... Uh, the bass is kind of like on a peninsula with water right behind down there where he just went. Uh, yeah, as long as you make the, the initial gap, this hole's not too hard. And it looks like Ron took an awful kick left. He's going to be in the middle of thorns, all kinds of stuff. And Christopher going with the forehand, probably so he can face the target the whole time. And that's a great shot. He'll have a about 30-footer uphill. For his birdie. Kevin wanting to bounce back after that bogey he took just now. And that's a great shot. He's about 10 feet away. Here's Casey. Looks like he's going maybe a fairway driver right up the middle. And he kicks left, but it'll be an easy par. And here's Ron from just the middle of the woods. And that's a great out. He's going to have to take his four. Casey tossing it up there. Hits a tree, and that's going to be a that's going to be a long par putt as well. Ron just going back to that forehand. And that worked out pretty well. Just off the cage. Here's Crispin for two, I believe. He, he he needs to get that putter going. He hit a good one on a hole two, but he's playing against some really high-level players, so he needs to be making some. Christopher bangs his birdie putt. 
That bring that brings him to one down. And he takes the lead. Here's Kristen's comebacker for par. Oh yeah, there it is. And he stays at even. Here's Kevin tapping in for his birdie. And that brings him back to even. So that's a great way to bounce back. And Casey's starting off not on a good note. He is three big. Ron's not doing great either right now. He's one big. So let's see if we can get these guys to turn up a little bit. All right, hole four, 520-foot par four. And this hole is very challenging. Water runs along the right all the way up to the basket. The fairway is basically a mound all the way down. And uh, there's some OB on the left. So you got to find your placement shot and... And hit it. That's looking really good. Oh yeah. Uh, that might be too far left actually. We'll have to see. Crispin. Looks like he had enough hyzer on it. Oh yeah, that's going way left. But safe. Maybe that wasn't safe. I don't know. We'll see. And it's crazy how much power Ron generates. He's got such great form. And that's going to be a tricky spot. That's also on the left side of the trees, but he should have a look for a pretty solid upshot. And Casey just turns his all the way over. And he's going to find the OB in the water. And there is a drop zone on this hole. On this hole. Christopher's upshot. It's got about I don't know, 250 left of the pen. And he leaves that about 30 feet short. And Crispin did find the OB, so that was his third shot. And he leaves that way short. He's going to have a lot of distance to cover still. And Ron's got tricky lies. Well, he's got to weave through those trees. And that's pretty darn good for where he was at. He's got about a 30 footer. Maybe a little bit longer. So here's Casey from the drop zone. This is for three as well. Just a basic hyzer. You gotta control the height on these shots today though, because that wind is howling. And he should be he should be able to make that putt. Kevin going with the big hyzer as well. And all these guys seem to be coming up a little bit short. There's Crispin's fourth, and he'll just tap that in for a for a bogey five. Kevin, a little short. Let's see if Crisper can continue making these putts. That was a great run, though. He'll be tapping in for a par. And here's Ron for birdie. And that wind just kind of pushes it up in the air a little bit, a little bit too much. And he's got a pretty, pretty far uh, comebacker, but it's not, it's not gonna hurt him at all. He's a fantastic putter, probably what he's known for. And Kevin taps in for his par. Christopher taps in for his bogey. And that's going to hurt his run. Casey with the par. That's a great par save. And Kristen with the bogey. All right. Hole 5, 588-foot par, par 4. There is OB sidewalk on the right. There is a flag off OB on the left side. So you really just got to throw it far and death straight, which is not the easiest thing. 
And once you're out in that open, it, your upshot's pretty simple, but again, the wind is just ridiculous today. A lot of overstable discs being, being pulled out. Here's Christopher. And these guys are trying to release it on a slide ante and then just have it fade out towards the middle of the fairway, but and if it fades out too early, you're probably going to find some OB. Crispin looks to be going that way. I'm not too sure if that went OB or not. We'll find out in a sec. Kevin's got about... 350 plus to the pin still. And Crispin was OB. But he's in putting range for a par save. Casey going with the forehand. That's looking pretty good. Oh yeah. That's puttable for sure. Christopher kind of like let's go way early throws that almost right into the ground and Ron with another forehand looks like that gets way more turn than he wants yeah that's going to be about a 45 footer and that's a better I mean that's a good recovery shot and Kevin with that black harp thing Piss that wherever he wants to, basically. And Ron misses short for his uh, birdie. Oh my god, did that go OB? Oh. About a disc length away from OB again. Man, he needs to get that nose down a little bit. Oh, and when he does, it's an inch too short. That is not a good hole for Crispin. We're seeing a lot of uh, nose up. The headwind's just pushing it straight up in the air. That's a great bogey putt for uh, <clears throat> Christopher. Casey with a nice birdie. The lone birdie. Kevin with the par. He's sitting at even. Tristan with a painful triple bogey. He's going to need some birdies to recover from that. Well, on this back nine, there's a lot of opportunities, so... Alright, hole six. 395 foot par three. And uh, it's a really pretty basic hole, but there's a lot of OBs surrounding the basket area, so... You really just want to go with the high turnover flex shot, and hopefully you don't hit that uh, parking lot like that. But it's so easy to do because it's pretty much blind from the tee box. Wrong going with the big Annie. It's coming back pretty nice. Oh my god! GK slow mo, about a foot away from a 400 foot ace. Really wish we got that on camera if that would have happened. And that looks like a great shot as well. And it's hard to get your disc up in the air and turning enough to where you're not way left of the basket on this hole. Because you can bail out on the left side, there's no OB on the left side. And that sneaks over the road as well. There's been like four over the road. Here's Kevin with his OB3. So he'll be tapping in for a bogey. And he'll most likely lose a stroke to Ron. And Crispin. That was a great putt by Crispin. And Casey finding his putting stroke now. He's trying to fight back in this battle. 
wrong with the birdie? Well, there's a lot of birdies on this hole. Making it look way easier than it is. I think this is for birdie for Christopher. Yep, another birdie. Kevin's going to be tapping in for his bogey. He's going to lose his stroke to the field. Two strokes to the field, actually. All right, hole seven, 397 foot par three. And there is OB right, but you got to go over those trees, which is pretty hard to do. And the hole goes straight and then down to the left, quite a bit downhill. And yeah, some of these guys can reach it for sure, including Ron. And Ron puts it way over there. Oh my, yes, that is perfect. He'll be tapping in for a birdie, for sure. Christopher, looks like he saw that off a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna be on that left side. Crispin trying to find something good here to do. And that's over that's hanging out with Christopher over there on the left side. Here's Kevin, he needs to bounce back after that bogey. He's currently in second on the card. It's a great line. Looks like it's gonna be a little, little bit short. Oh, no, actually, he's about. He's in circle. He's putting. And Christopher left that. It looks like 30 feet short. That's the second forehand upshot where he kind of shanked it. Here's Kevin for two. Oh, that wind drop. And that's that's a painful hole for Christopher. Had a great drive, just a poor upshot. And a very difficult putt. Ron with a great birdie. Now he's getting on a roll. And he actually took his hat off because it kept blowing off his head. That is how windy it is. Casey tapping in for a par. Same with Crispin. No, oh, Crispin got a birdie. Never mind. Kevin with the par, though. And Christopher with the unfortunate bogey. All right, Ron takes the lead at one down. Hole eight, 420 foot par three. It's pretty much a wide open hole. You really just gotta show off your power and try not to have anything flip over. There is OB on the right, but it's going to be pretty hard to, to reach. And after that bad start Casey had, he is really starting to come together and connect with some shots. Looks like he found his putting stroke. And that was way up there. And this hill plays a little bit uphill too, so it, it probably plays more like 450-ish. And Kevin going with the high turnover flex shot. And that's putting as well. Just outside circle. And that looks like it came out a little bit early and a little bit low. Yeah, I don't think he's really putting there, but he'll he'll toss up there as an upshot. Crispin from about 100, leaves that a little bit right. Crispin going with that forehand, and he, he did it again. He needs to get that thing up in the air. 
And Casey. Oh my gosh! Casey from downtown drills that birdie putt. He's just staring at it. Go in. And it did. And that puts Casey at even. He's creeping up on Ron. See if Ron can knock one in. Oh, he's going with the forehand. I'm wondering why he didn't try to putt that. It wasn't that far. And Kevin just right off the cage for his two. Chris went off the cage as well. And here's Christopher for par, I believe. Yeah, it nails it. Just a couple tap ins. Crispin for bogey, Ron for par. And Kevin for par. And Ron is still leading by one, hole nine, 358 foot par three. And uh, this hole is really pretty similar to the, to the previous one. Pretty open, there's a couple trees on the right side, but they're easy to avoid. And you're gonna be seeing mostly just hyzers since it's only 358. Looks like he got caught up in a couple trees and he's gonna be about 150 short. Kevin going with the forehand, that'll work. A little short though. I'm not sure if this is actually 358. I think it might be playing a little bit longer than that, but. Chris for keeping it nice and low. And he'll have a putt. It's going to be a long one, but he'll have one. Christian going with the the flex shot, but it just didn't get any turn, and he's going to be way left. But, it is, I mean, this whole this fairway is so open, it really doesn't even matter. As long as you don't go OB, OB right. Let's see if Casey can knock in another 150-footer. Nah, at least that little short. Yeah, this hole's got to be over 400 because no one seemed to even get close to the basket. And Ron with the little patent pending shot there. Hatless. And Christopher needs to get a birdie here. Let's see if he can make this. Nah, can't quite commit to it right now. And these 15 footers with this win, they feel like 40 footers. Yeah, and Kevin just sneaks that over the cage for a par. Crispin for par as well. You can be seeing a lot of pars. It's a pretty tight ball game with the exception of Crispin. I mean, everyone's pretty close to even. We got Ron at one, a couple of even, a couple at one big, so. Oh, Casey with the birdie. How about that? All right, thanks for watching that front nine. Make sure you look out for the back nine coming out soon. And, uh, yeah, subscribe, like the channel, GK Pro, and help us out.